Hey, a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg. Subscribe down below or at the widget up above if you enjoy the content. This one is going to be for those Golden Knights fans. It is, of course, you're coming back this season after, of course, being your inaugural season in 2017, now having some faces potentially be up soon, like the Jack Duggins of the world, who are 23 coming out of Providence College from that inaugural draft class. They are 142nd overall in 2017. Looks like a nice little player um, with a nice release and a good hockey IQ that has more potential to become a 200-foot player. And then they have the cream of the crop down there. They don't have You guys don't have any Elias Pettersson type prospects, but you have nice guys that are going to fit into the core of the team, I believe, going forward. And um, Krebs is a high-end playmaker that also is underrated in terms of how good he actually is defensive responsible. So they have some nice guys there, of course. They also got Brandon Brisson. As Ryan, the great Ryan Kennedy says, most of these guys are going to be either um, in college or NCAA bound that the that the Vegas Golden Knights have minus Duggan and minus Krebs. They're going to have a lot of guys that take a little bit to get up there. But you do have some good guys and foundation pieces to build off of and some nice defensemen you got in Lucas Cormier, Daniel Shika, of course. Uh, these guys are going to take a bit, 18 and 19 years old, respectively. Yvonne Morozov um, at center, who's 21, so that should only be a year or a couple more years, where he's had an impressive full season in the uh, first full season in the KHL. He's going to be playing over there again with St. Petersburg, which is uh, one of their big teams, and he's responsible in all three zones. He just hit a wall in the playoffs, so you see how he does in the second KHL season, but it looks like he's progressing well. Brandon Brisson looks like he's going to do very well in Michigan. You've got Zach Dean at center, who's a very hard-working um, player that's playing in the QMJHL and has a nice 200-foot game. So I like how this team's drafting. They're drafting centers that seem like they're going to fit really well into the team because look at Chandler Stevenson, who's become basically a Deneau 2.0, just a minuscule level below him, but plus 22, great defensive metrics. Now they developed him into a wizard on a 200-foot game there, and then now they brought in Nolan Patrick, who has a big body, who was supposed to be a very good creative offensive player once the Flyers drafted him second overall, was supposed to be a guy that developed because of his size into a pretty good 200-foot player. The Vegas Golden Knights have already made centers like Carlson, like um, Chandler Stevenson, into guys that have been the best versions of themselves. Nolan Patrick being there, it's going to be a good opportunity for him to do that as well. So you got some nice, very good young players here, whether it's developing in the minors, or, of course, at the NHL level, Peyton Kreb, it looks like he's going to make the team, was able to get one point in four games last year. You got Pavel Doroviev, who played well for the Henderson Silver Knights in the AHL, the 20-year-old center. Again, a very responsible center, going to come in and be a responsible player, the 79th pick in 2019, played good in the VHL, which is basically the equivalent to the AHL is the best way to explain that, in Russia and had a little bit of a cup of coffee in the KHL, so he's a nice player to bring in. Keegan Kolasar seems like he's another one of those players. The Vegas Golden Knights just get the most out of him and really know how to push the right buttons with these players. Of course, got Evgeny Dadanov, who they acquired in the tr in a trade, who is a very good veteran player that still knows what to do. Not the same productive rate that he had in the past, but if he plays a full 82-game season this year, I could see with Vegas and the playmaking of Krebs if he is truly on a line. And if Patrick has a great season, like I think he will be able to kind of be play more loose down there, not having the pressure of being the second overall pick, going to a new environment. He's going to be on a good line to have success. And then you obviously have that Riley Carlson and March or so line, which is just killer. Then you have Mark Stone and Pacioretty centered by Stevenson, who again is a wizard that they turn into a 200-foot wizard. And both of those other guys are also very good defensively. They have one of the better offensive first lines when all things are clicking and one of the better defensive first lines, Vegas Golden Knights fans. That's what your team has. So this team, again, is definitely going to be successful. The hockey news has them projected as first in the Pacific. That would be where I would have them as well. This team is going to have some very good success. They have guys that are still not that far away, like Lucas Elvenis is also not that far away. He was crafty in the offensive zone, but just needs to be stronger on the puck because he's already 22 years old. So you have some kids that look like they're going to be at least bottom sixers and just fit into being good defensive guys that are close. And then Peyton Krebs is already going to be up, who's a wizard as a playmaker and a good 200-foot player. And then Jack Duncan should not be far away since he came out at 23 from a good hockey college in Providence and also played <clears throat> um, in the AHL as an instant transition um, and, and showed his hockey IQ at that AHL level. 
So this has been a Vegas Golden Knights season preview. Again, I think those top two lines are going to be killer. I think they're going to even be better this year than last year. Peyton Krebs is going to make a huge impact. He obviously, I think, honestly, will have a chance to be one of the top rookies in the league, if not winning that Calder Trophy and winning the Rookie of the Year. And then Pavel Doroviev will be a nice young player as well. I don't think he'll necessarily be in that Rookie of the Year competition, but Peyton Krebs is going to be one of those guys. And then obviously in net, they still got Robin Leonard, great guy, great player, a guy that seems to come in in the best shape this year, followed by Lauren Brousseau, who emerges as a great backup. Boosh made a big prediction that he would play about 30 games this year so that the Panda and Leonard can come into the playoffs the most fueled to get you guys that Stanley Cup you want. On defense, you don't have to worry about anything. You got the young hag that's developing. Zach Whitecloud keeps getting better. You still got Dylan Coghlan. You got Theodore. You got McNabb. You got Petrangelo. You got Martinez. They got Matthias Janmark as depth, too. They have William Carrier when he comes back as depth. Um, You got Jake Bischoff, who's 27 and has been around more so in the minors. But you have him as depth. You obviously have Tuck and Roy. Tuck, very good player. Roy played very well last year coming in. Nicholas Roy and Brett Howden when they're all healthy and not on the IR. So you have these guys. Bischoff is also on the IR. So you have these guys that are going to be depth players. you got good depth there, which is very successful because this team is obviously only around since the 2017, as I mentioned, Jack Duncan in that inaugural draft year, who's going to be on the team fairly soon as well, or maybe right away, um, potentially, because right now on the projections, it has the Vegas Golden Knights as one forward less playing with an extra defenseman with Coughlin. So we'll see if that comes to fruition tonight or if they do put another forward in that maybe is him. But this has been a Vegas Golden Knights season preview. I think you guys are definitely going to be the team to finish first in that Pacific Division again and have another successful season and a chance to make a good run at the Cup because Lauren Purcell will step up and that will be able to leave Robin Leonard most rested for the playoffs to be able to have the most success in the playoffs. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the season, Golden Knights fan, and go Knights. Have success this season.